hi hello today we see ch own command ch own is nothing but change ownership uh, each and every files and directories in linux is belongs to some specific owner and group initially uh, we can change that ownership with the help of this command so now the basic syntax of this command is ch own and uh, options and the username that is the uh, owner name and the group name which the files or some directories which it belongs to the first one we see is how to change the user ownership of a file now i am listing this test directory we can see the example file uh, with the ownership called root and the group name is root now i am changing the uh, username that is owner name root to uh, user1 the command is ch own and the uh, owner name that is user1 and the file name so now when i am listing uh, the root is changed to user1 ownership and the next is changing the group ownership of the file uh, in this example file the uh, group ownership is root and now i am changing this group ownership to group1 ch own well specifying the group name we have to mention it with a dot group 1 example so now the example file is changed to the ownership of group 1 from root whereas the another method to change the ownership of group we can use chgrp that is change group command and uh, group name group 1 and the example so so now the group name is changed to group 1 in the next one we can see how to change both the owner and group in a single command that is ch own the owner name first and the group name with dot and the file name now this file name is changed the next one we see is how to change the ownership only if a file is owned by a particular user for example uh, this example file is now owned by a ownership uh, ownership root and the group ownership is group 1 so now i am changing this to uh, user 2 group so ch own from equal to user 2 and user 1 and the name so what i mean this command is if the example file is in group 2 ownership then it will be changed to user1 ownership while running this command it won't show any changes since the example file is already in root ownership so now i have to give here root instead of user2 root and user1 now and now this ownership is changed to user1 And the next one is same process uh, where we used in owner user ownership we are using now in group ownership so this example file uh, this is already in the group 1 ownership so now i am giving the same command ch own from equal to dot group 1 and now dot office example so what i mean in this command is uh, if the example file is already exist in group 1 ownership it will change to office ownership so while running this command it's already in group 1 ownership now it's changed to office ownership and the next option we're going to see is how to copy the owner or group settings from one file to another in this directory uh, we have example file and new directory in example file both the ownership are root whereas in new directory uh, the owner is user1 and the group is office so now i am copying this ownership to example file the command is ch own hyphen reference so now the reference equal to new directory and the directory that is file to be modified Exe, 
Put in the spelling wrong. Rents. So now the new directory's ownership is just copied to example file. So the next option we see is changing the ownership of the group or file by traveling through the directories recursively. Uh, in this test directory, you can see the three or uh, two directories and one file with various ownerships. So now I am changing each and every ownership of these contents by going outside of this directory cd double dot and now i am giving ch own with the option called capital r and small v and user one dot group one and now test directory so now we can see that in this test directory first example file is transferred to user one dot group one and a new to user one to group one and sample user one to group one so now I am going inside the test directory and listing. So each and every contents in this directory is changed to user1 and group1 permission. So the next option we can see is changing the ownership of all the files present inside the directory without making any changes to the present working directory that is parent directory. Uh, in example 3 directory we can see 3 directories with root permission. So now I am changing this uh, permission to user one dot group one, and I am giving start. So now each and every directory in this content is changed to user one to group one, but it won't affect the parent directory. Since these are the normal usages of ch command. Thank you.